Afternoon everybody, October the 30th, day before Halloween, and it is 79 degrees, beautiful day here in upstate New York, and you know what, the time changes soon, we got a few minutes after work to go flying, we're going to do that, ride along. Well, here we are, you can see we're, we're taxiing out, I'm multitasking, i getting the camera, getting the camera going, we'll give you some of that, uh, Give you some of that look there. Hermine's got a hold of the camera there and got a shot of us inside the airplane. And here we are at the end of the runway and we're going to push the throttle on. You can see that the sun is setting low already. We have got uh, the shadow right there, uh, right there on the ground in front of us. Uh, and we got so much, so, so much uh, flying to do and so little time to do it. Uh, because the time's going to change here in the next day or two, and uh, you get out of work at, at 5 o'clock, and it'll be dark. So we figured, you know, let's go today. And I wanted to give you an update on the leaves, and as you can see, they've been all but stripped dried off. Uh, we had some rain and some wind, and I, I was blessed that we got up and got uh, some good uh, colors there uh, right after the frost hit us. But uh, today was a very warm day. Leaves are all gone right here. Heading over into the village of Vernon, we headed off uh, to the south there a little bit. Uh, wind was blowing pretty pretty good out of the west, uh, seven gusts to twelve. Uh, it was a little bit uh, exciting uh, taking off there, but uh, all is well. It's riding good now. But uh, as we're going across Route Five here in Vernon, right by the Coon Plant, uh, coming up on uh, coming up on Vernon Downs. And uh, as you can see, these any of these blocks of trees, the vast majority of the leaves are already gone. Today, I got, like I said earlier, October 30th, Halloween's tomorrow. This is uh, the racetrack, and you can see just going out of the frame on the left-hand side is uh, the cars parked at the, uh, at the casino over there. But uh, didn't see any horses running. Of course, we were early. It had to be just a... Just a little bit after five, so I know that post time isn't until later in the in the evening. But uh, headed up on the hill outside of Vernon, and you can see uh, the the trees are are stripped right bare, pretty much. Uh, they got all the beans off, and they're harvesting the corn now. And uh, this uh, this field right out in front of us. Uh, our mean son, Mark, lives up here. We've landed. I've landed in this field here, uh, got a half a dozen times now. Uh, didn't want to do that tonight because we were just out, for a, just out for a little ride. Mark's house right there on the right. We headed from here over across the valley. And that's uh, Pat Cowan's house right there, just going out of the frame. And uh, we circled around up past the farm here. And I want you to look at the treetop flying here and how the leaves have all been stripped off the trees. And uh, here you go. You get a good look at it here. I mean, there's a few that are hanging on. But uh, for the most part, heading back uh, northeast toward the casino with the uh, sun off our uh, left shoulder, you get some decent video. But uh, flying into the sun, it was, uh, it was a tough sled. And uh, as, we headed, uh, as we headed back home, uh, like I've been doing, I, uh, I overflew the runway to the east uh, to make sure there were no deer on it, because uh, we've had uh, we've had 35 come into the meat shop so far. So they've been they've been taking deer out of Southern Tier pretty good, and North opened last weekend. But you can see the the leaves here off the end of the runway that were colored up are all gone, and as we drop down in, uh, all the the weeds and everything, the frost got them good. You can see all the trees beside the runway here. Uh, you can look right through them because the leaves are all gone. And again, chasing our shadow uh, down along the runway there, making sure the deer are gone. I left this uh, teardrop turn in because you see me fly over the end of the runway here all the time, and I wanted to give you an opportunity to get a look at how the how we we have to get those colors in the trees. It's really important. I flew three days in a row. To make sure we got them, and you can see now that they're uh, they're mostly gone for all intents and purposes. Um, this is the first good day we've had in a while. Like I said earlier, it was 79 degrees today. Beautiful fall day, 
but uh, we've had some frost, and uh, and uh, we had some rain uh, go through uh, last night front and it rained hard so it, it did strip the leaves off good but i'm turning back into the sun and as you can see i mean this is one of the outside cameras and the the visibility was substantially worse with the inside cameras i mean you could hardly tell where we were i mean it was uh it was a tough to, to land into the sun but the wind was blowing good enough that that's what i wanted to do so here we are got her drop down in and we got this little shadow to land on right here just greased around. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, last look at the leaves for 2024 from the Bush Cat.